everyone, I'm back after a while. So today we'll be doing an experiment on rock chemical weathering. Well, you, what you will need for this experiment is a small little chart like this. You can make your own any size that you can write on. A pencil, two cups labeled uh, rock one and rock two, and two rocks that look almost like this, kind of like whitish. You know, just, just take a look at that. Okay. I'll come back with the, uh, setup and stuff. Also, you need vinegar. So I'm back with the vinegar, and, uh, I'm gonna be choosing this cracked white one as, a uh, rock one, and this smoother white w rock as, a uh, rock two. So, you put the vinegar in the, uh, cups first before dropping the rocks in. I just prefer to do that because it gets to get the rock all, um, covered in the vinegar so that the, uh, calcite and other things and it could dissolve away in the rock. It'll take very time for the vinegar to um, uh, dissolve away the calcite and stuff. Uh, that's my bird. So, uh, so uh, in nature, chemical weathering is, uh, it takes some time. Yeah. So I'll be back when I've put the vinegar in. Okay, so I've put the vinegar in. Now it's time to add uh, rock one and rock two into the vinegar. Place it very slowly inside. As you can see, put that one in there. You can see small bubbles on it already forming, but those were probably trapped air pockets. But now time to add in rock two. There. So you can either leave it in there like overnight or like for like two days, as many days as you want. Um, I'm gonna cut this scene right now and show you back when um, uh, bubbles start forming. 